Why is tennis elbow so complex? This is a great question and one that I just got asked um, this last couple of days. So I knew I needed to make a video about it. Why is tennis elbow so complex? The reason is that once you get beyond three months, so if you start feeling your elbow and it'll kind of niggle on and keep going on, keep going on. Once you've been feeling it for longer than three months, it's involving other tissues. So it's initially not complex at all. It's the tendon, the, the, the forearm muscles attached to the bone with the tendon. It's the tendon that is affected. So if you can catch it in that first three months and start doing the right things, it's very, very simple. And you can really heal it incredibly quickly, do the right things, be well on track in a matter of weeks. However, if it goes beyond those three months, that's when it starts affecting other things and that's when it becomes more complicated. Imagine a pebble dropping into a pond and those ripples go out further and further and further as time goes on. Imagine the elbow is the epicenter where that pebble is dropped. Over time, the ripples can come up here and affect other tissues. The ripples will go down here and affect other tissues. And if you don't address everything, then it's not gonna heal. And that's why it can just feel like it keeps going on and on and on and on and on. So I hope that helps. That's why it can seem quite complicated. It's all to do with how long you've had it and how many tissues are involved.